Now, this is one departure from the page layout tab. The next one, let me go over here to my slideshow, is to use page layout view to manage your footers. And you see the steps. It could be headers or footers. You see the steps up here. You go to the view tab, then page layout view, and then you put in your header. <clears throat> So let me go over here. Oop. So I'm going to go to my View tab. And here's the button, Page Layout View. If you're wondering, Page Layout View is a new view. We didn't have it in Excel 2003. Now this is not a trick question. If you wanted to add a header, what would you do? click to add header. It's not hard. So if I wanted to put a header in here and, and click and type billing rates, there's my header. Double click between column headers to auto fit columns. So if I'm over here in my workbook, Notice I've got column B and column C. Also, watch what happens to the pointer when it's right between the two columns. See how you have the double-headed arrow with a bar in the middle of it? Then if I double-click, it makes it just wide enough to accommodate the widest entry. What if you do all that and it still won't fit? One of the best things you can do at that point is number eight, hide unnecessary columns. Hiding a column is easy. You might hide a column, for instance, maybe you have a column that's part of a calculation and you need the result of the calculation, but you don't need what went into it. You could hide that. Or you just run out of space and you're like, we gotta hide something, okay? To hide a column, you simply select it. So if I wanted to hide column G, notice how the pointer, if I hover over column G, I get that down facing arrow. That allows me to select the whole column, right click, and choose hide. And that column is hidden. Notice the column headers <coughs> show F and H, but no G. So how do you unhide a column? To unhide it, you select on either side of it, right click and choose unhide. Number nine, set the width to one page wide. And some of you are like, we could have just said that and been done with the class. I put this at pretty much the very end. And I put, this is like a magic wand. But it's kind of like a magic wand that you wanted to shrink the bunny, but you didn't want the bunny to be this small, okay? If you do this first, Excel automatically shrinks it. But it may not make the decisions you want it to make, and it may make it so that it's not very readable, okay? For instance, the first thing it does is shrink the font size. And I don't know about you, but I don't really want to see six-point text on a, on a worksheet. But it'll do that to make it fit. You don't want to be like I was with Fred and you get it shrunk to 26%. You want to do all of these other things before you pull out your magic wand. However, if you've got one column that's hanging over, this really can be like a magic wand. So let's see how we're doing and let's see how this works. So I'm going to see how we're doing now. So looks like there's a lot of stuff. And then we get down to the end. Yep, there we go. I got one column I need to squeeze on there. So this is the point where I would probably do that. So in the scale to fit group, it says width automatic. I'm going to click the drop down and just choose one page. 
Notice I leave the height to automatic because I don't care if it's 10 or 15 pages long. I'm just concerned about the width, right? And I've already got my header repeating on every page, so 10 pages long is fine. So now if I go to File and Print, now I have six pages and see my headers on every page and I don't have that one hanging over. And number 10, Manage Expectations. You go back to Fred and you say, Fred, it's just not going to fit. What can we get rid of or can we send this out, get it on poster size paper, we got to do something. I've done every trick I can do but those jurors or whoever we're going to show this to, they don't want to see six point text. We got to do a little better than this.